Welcome to the Aerodyne Wind Tunnel. My name is Gary Aker. I'm the founder and designer of this facility. One of the real challenges in designing a good wind tunnel for race cars is to get the proper flow not only over the top of the car, but also underneath. The floor generates what's called a boundary layer. And unless you can do something to control that, you won't have good simulation. Let me show you how we control the boundary layer at this facility. Without some form of boundary layer control, this slow moving air will grow and begin to influence the pressures and forces around your test model. As you can see in this animation, air enters into the picture at the same speed. However, as the air goes across the floor, you see that it slows down and begins to build up. This, in simple terms, is the boundary layer. What we have developed at Aerodyne is an innovative method using blowing and suction at floor level to speed up the air that is close to the floor, effectively eliminating boundary layer thickness and any effect it may have on the test object. You can see in the video that air begins to slow down. However, when it comes in contact with the blowing and suction area, it is sped up. This method of using blowing and suction originated with research done by NASA, and through many hours of research and development, we have adapted it to work in our tunnel. Now that we have shown you the concept, let's show you how we put this into practice. Here you can see how we implement the blowing and suction system. Across the floor, there are a series of suction holes and blowing slots that speed up the air to minimize the boundary layer thickness. Thanks for letting us share an in-depth look at our innovation here at Aerodyne. For more information, check us out at aerodynetech.com.